Hello again, you two, my precious um, followers and people who choose to follow around this freak that, um, person who, I don't know, likes to lurk around the shadows and is always seeking for something other than this boring reality because, I mean, it's like a goth uh, that dresses normal for a day. They say, oh, it's so boring. Or, um, you know, they just can't handle it because they're living in a totally different reality. Or they're wishing they live in a different reality. Like, I've seen videos, uh, goth tries normal for a day and, like, when people say, why don't you just dress normal? They say, well, why don't you just dress like a big pink elephant or big, a yeah, big pink dinosaur costume. They go, oh, what's that? You wouldn't like it? Okay, see, life is all about seeing things from other people's perspectives or I'm making this video because I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things I've discovered on my journey and especially in my last fast, it was yesterday and today up until um, like 6 p.m. or up like probably 6.20 when I ate a lemon and then I ate a mango and a daylight and green and then we, me and my parents, we went out voting and then I came back and now it's now home. So, um, the things I've learned are, I want to share, like, I haven't gotten to the point of animal communication, but I feel like there's definitely, um, like, when my dog really likes, every night he, um, lays in front of the, um, glass door. We have a glass door you can see through, because, you know, animals, they're just attracted to the brightest light source. Like, that is a natural instinct of sea turtles, how they know to go to the ocean, because the moon's supposed to be the brightest light source, so... The moon's in the direction of the ocean because that's where they're supposed to go, but you know, now humans have invented things that aren't that are brighter that aren't the moon and are pointed in the opposite direction. But, um, if you want to really get into spirituality, you should start thinking about what are the animals doing because I mean, at least with my dog, I see they mostly sleep all day or maybe not sleep maybe it's just meditate um the reason they're so groggy when they when you try to wake them is because they're um like if you were in a really deep meditation state when you it'd be hard to wake you up or like i've been so engrossed in a certain activity i'm doing that i barely i don't hear the people around me it's called Pratyahara. See, the yoga system that's really popular in the West now, um, when the, mostly Hatha yoga, because there are like so many types of yoga. There's Iyengar yoga, there's um, uh, Kundalini yoga, Bikram yoga, um, uh, what is it, Barasana yoga, or What's that one? I don't know, there's like yin yoga. Um. Anyways, the point is most people who do it just do it for like the physical health benefits and that's not really what yoga was meant for. I mean, I think up until the late 1800s or yeah, um, people, when they didn't use mats, they just sat on the, on the ground, on the earth. And it was mostly, um, some guys in India, or I guess women too, um, they would go out early in the morning or just whenever they felt like it into the woods and just would sit and think, uh, look at their thoughts. They observe their thoughts and, um, yeah, uh-huh. So it's less about holding postures and more... I guess all those postures are designed to induce meditation to make it so 
can't really think of anything else. Or, you know, there are also mudras, um, the hands, signs, hand symbols, like the most popular ones, Gayan Mudra with the thumb and forefinger together. That it's called the Mudra of Wisdom that you see when people are meditating, and it's like. Well, they, there's a whole science to, like, all the fingers. They stand for a different element. element. Uh, thumbs fire, I think. Index is um, air, and the finger is akasha, or spirit, connection, prana. That's why, like, in all martial arts, in Tai Chi too, I've seen the middle finger is very, very important. So it's like, why, why is it a curse in the West? And, um, ring finger is earth, um, thingy finger is water, so, like, some of them are designed to make you more creative, um, uh, there's the Rudra Mudra, that's good for, um, God, I have a hard time making it, like, Worrying off dizziness, improving respiration and digestion, and um, you know, Rudra is known as the remover of obstacles. That their that's their god. Um, and I feel like like there are definitely alternative sources of energy in this world. Like uh, this morning, I was really hungry, or not that hungry, but. I felt hunger and um, in my one class, then right when it was over, I went next door to the secretary and started talking to her and had a really long conversation about, um, told her some quotes, how she offered me candy and I said, I don't eat candy and how for Halloween I offered people, um, I connect the dots puzzles. But really, I think if I was living alone, like I print out tons of um, maybe fortune cookie scrolls, or like I think Animal Crossing fortune cookies are like the signposts. Like you know, that's probably when they invent a new leaf, the new Animal Crossing. Just all the signposts that used to contain the words of advice, like. You know, everyone wakes up at different times, but we all go to bed at night. Um, the things that we're trying to tell you, like, how to, I guess, be more successful. Um, I guess that became the fortune cookies in the, um, new, new leaf version of it. But, um, yeah, I looked those up and, like, typed them out and put them in. Just give those out for Halloween, because... I mean, I really don't, I wouldn't want to give out sugar, I'm very anti, you know, Halloween has been so, and how Manson, his, um, song, We're All Stars on the Dope Show is about how, uh, the media presents a doped up version of reality and they like to pretend like everything's perfect so you keep buying their stuff, they only care about ratings, but, um, really, Reality, they, the one of the two big lies is that the poor aren't exploited and everything's fine. Or maybe the other is that the environment is exploited. Because, I mean, the environment really, like, with animal agriculture, people knew what animal agriculture does to the environment or what avocados do to the environment. They really want to stop buying those foods. Like, if you knew all the reasons I have for doing my stuff, like raking my food and uh, fasting and eating gluten free and everything I do, um, you you think it's crazy that I do it. But if you knew my reasons, you think it's crazy not to do it. Yeah, that, that could extend to even like, people who eat a completely raw diet. Cause, you know, we just don't know the, the reasons, but the difference is the people that 
they um, do these things, they, they know the reason, like, they've seen a documentary or they've just experienced it uh, about my fast. Um, so part of the energy is conversation with people as long as you like it, like, I feel like your emotions really definitely play a big part in, like, I've been reading a lot of Jeanine Frost, and she writes about vampires and well, some magical stuff that I bet is uh, partially true. Like, I just read about Mary Laveau, the voodoo queen of um, New Orleans, who said her character in the book said, I don't do black magic, I am black magic. Which I feel is the truth, really. You know, she had to control remnants, pieces of emotions left over from when people die and how in voodoo some people would um, ingest the blood of, I don't know, zombies or water with zombie powder in it to get the power of God. Um, yeah, I've really seen the, the Hindu uh, old caste system with the untouchables and they're really the bottom of the pyramid the biggest group and then as you go up there are less people I feel like I mean that's definitely still true today because you see these chakras they have to do with the ones that are most active they affect the way your brain works and I've also seen what you eat definitely affects the way your brain works like you are what you eat um, those who don't believe the magic will never find it. Oh, I also want to tell you, the greatest nation known to man is imagination. See, I was just down at the, um, lake near my house, and the moon was really bright, so I just set a timer for six minutes doing a meditation. Um, I did a frog gazing at the moon posture to open my hips, um, but there are definitely better ways to open the hips, um, uh, what else have I learned, um, oh, I, like, today I was doing a meditation in this group, or it was just the guy who was leading it, reading the paper, um, he must have felt like it was his job, like, he didn't really want to do it. Um, he was, his name was King, I doubt that was his real first name, like, stronger your central nervous system is, like, and people say, I can smell a lie, but I know they're not, they're not using their nose, they just, they can tell when people are not being genuine or when they're, yeah, faking stuff, um, like, Paulo Coelho, he, uh, my first book I read of his, The Alchemist, said, um, the first thing he discovered when going to Africa, the kid, main character, that enthusiasm is another language. So, you can tell people's emotions, or what they really feel, what they're trying to express by enthusiasm. Um, oh, I realized Paulo Coelho in his book, not the movie of it, but in Veronica Decides to Die in the book, he describes the kid who, his dad thinks he's crazy, but he was just going through a spiritual awakening. Uh, he was put in a mental hospital, and the kid, um, he was interested in painting, pictures, painting, paintings, uh, he called his work visions of paradise or glimpses of paradise because as you start to meditate more and do more of the spiritual stuff like eat real food, like, think about how people are mostly eating most of human history, they didn't really get stuff from other countries or didn't go through so many hands, it wasn't made by someone they don't know. Um, yeah, 
So eating real food, people say the more you eat real food, the more you feel like presence of God or oneness with the universe or whatever. So then you start to see flashes of Im images, cool stuff when you close your eyes. Um, and uh, maybe that was his paintings. Like, that was definitely his paintings. Of course it was. And Paul Guello, he was named one of the uh, messenger of the peace of the world. Uh, and, um, so this guy who was leading the meditation, he, um, I told him about how I meditated for over an hour or done the standing meditations. Like, you know, meditate while standing in different positions. You'd say, that kill me. Or, like, I, I couldn't take that. Or most people, like, I hear my, one of the other students in my environmental class, she says, like, she has a lot of health problems, so she doesn't, like, her doctors don't allow her to eat certain, because at certain times or certain things, and she says, like, if I don't do this, they want me to do a five-day fast. And I kill myself for that. It's like, all of these people are so weak. It's like, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was also thinking today about Pink, the artist, how all of her songs, like, or her latest one that's Pretty play, please, don't you ever ever feel like you're nothing, you are perfect to me. Because, um, I guess spiritual people are supposed to recognize everyone as just manifestations of God. Every body, because, I mean, you're not really your body. That's an illusion. Uh, I was told that the last Reiki share, the Reiki master Reiki me, her message for me was that I should view myself as, from, like, third person perspective. Like, be on the outside. Like, I'm, like, as if I was looking at myself, because I'm not really my body. Because you aren't really your body. Yeah, Pink, I think she's really found her niche. And she's definitely very, very spiritual. It's like, I feel like that's all the, like, difference about artists and celebrities and movie stars from us normal people. That they know about how the world really works. Oh, and I didn't tell you that I've gotten a message from a spirit. Um, it was back when, it was a long time ago, I went out early in the morning to watch the sun rise, and um, the spirit told me your um, vibrational frequency, or yeah, your frequency, like how happy you are because you want a high frequency. It's called Lover Above. The, Better emotions have better, um, higher vibrations and lower emotions have lower vibrations. So you want a really high vibration. They also told me your, uh, I guess, vibration, your frequency, it also has a lot to deal with your digestive system. Which, I mean, when people eat, like, three meals a day and large portions, uh, or things that don't really digest well. Humans aren't designed to eat. Like meat. Meat takes so long to digest. Like even plants. The carnivorous plants. They know you're not supposed to eat meat if you don't have to. Because if they can get all their nutrients from the soil. Why would they bother eating meat? They only grow in places where the soil doesn't have nutrients. So people grow carnivorous plants at home, but they use fertile soil. So, of course, they're not going to bother eating bugs. It, tastes, it takes so long to digest meat. Like they only do it once every 48 hours in nature when they have to to survive. Um, 
And it's like, so your, I guess, spirituality has a lot to do with your, um, wait a second. Boss here, want to come in? Sorry guys, my dog wanted to come in because it seems whenever I do videos, he wants to come in. I guess the um the animals that he can feel our energy. You know, Oscar, Oscar, come up. Oscar. Or he likes being under my bed. So, I was talking about, yeah, your digestive system has a lot to do with it. Like, you want things that digest very easily because I feel like all food is kind of poison. Like, when it ages you, they've actually found that calorie restriction has anti aging benefits. Like, so your telomeres aren't as stressed, so you don't age as fast. Yeah, calorie restriction and, um, I mean, uh, you want to be allowed out again? Um, yeah, it's spirituality, like, all food, only, like, people who are very, I guess it, Food is for physical beings to keep you grounded to the earth and um uh yeah like souls people who are in the spirit they don't need to eat food and maybe that's what Earth Aaron's talk about um. So, oh yeah, I was also, during my meditation, right before I broke my fast, I was thinking about things that come in pairs in this world. Um, my scriptures go out. Any of the come in pairs, um, like, I don't know, male, female, um, I don't know, yin and yang, I think about that a lot. Um. On how all, like, I used to do Taekwondo classes and we just exercise like crazy. Like, the whole time it's really, really fast paced, moving 50 jumping jacks as a warm up. And, like, we did a whole round where we ran around the room, each person called out a different number of push ups we do. We did a certain number of push ups and, like, we never wasted time just being lazy, we could barely catch our breath, but a sitting, sitting against the wall and yeah, so very, I feel like that's all just designed to get out toxins. I mean, toxins are definitely, definitely real, it's just, in the West we call them carcinogens, uh, endocrine disruptors, carcinogens, endocrine disruptors, mutagens, teratogens, nephro, to, I think there's nephrotoxins, um, let's see, carcinogens, mutagens, endocrine disruptors, um, teratogens, nephrotoxin, um, neurotoxins. I think that's it. Um, But again, it only has as much control as you give it. I feel like that's the truth with a lot of things. Uh, it only has as much power as you give it. It's like humans are the real devil. Like, we destroy everything. Like, there are all those South Park episodes about, like, something Walmart comes this way, where just because humans, they started supporting this Walmart without ever thinking uh, maybe we should support local stuff or, yeah, they just never think about the consequences of their actions, so, uh, 
you know, fixation is a very masculine yang uh, idea, idea, and like, yeah, or fixation, like, fixation is bad. Like, with the yin energy, like, women are flexible, that's what yin means. Very flexible, or like, I love that song, it's, um, Oh, it's a gift to be simple. It's a gift to be free. It's a gift to come down where you ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, we'll be in the valley of love and fit for to turn, turn, turn will be our delight to lay down and we come round her. To lay turn and we come round her. To bend and to bow, we should not be ashamed. I feel like that's all just about. Back in the day, the, um, more religious people, they just bend their bodies, find new ways to, because the body is just a manifestation of the mind, and so, more flexible body leads to more flexible mind, I think, because uh, life's going to put you in a whole different position, and you need to think in new ways, be creative. Um, God, what else was I thinking about? Oh, I also realized back in the day, like the Middle Ages, they warned people don't look at the sun or don't spend too much time outside because the sun activates your pineal gland. Because the reason some people consider the pineal third eye evil is because it makes you different from everybody else. Like, it makes you an individual or you you probably won't you won't relate to anyone I, I find that with my family like they all think I'm crazy because my, my third eye is more open so I'm on a different reality different universe than them and um so people think you're crazy that's one of the reasons they call like meditation dangerous and Open third eye, dangerous. Uh, just learn to, I guess, live with it or be careful or know that you have to make accommodations. You have to regulate yourself, use moderation, not annoy people too much or realize you have, you're seeing things from different perspectives. Like they may not hear the things you hear uh, they may not taste the things you taste or smell the things you smell. Like, if my Tai Chi teacher said the benefits of doing Tai Chi are, I feel like, even fasting or improving your central nervous system is that you taste things better, see things better, um, smell things better, like, all of your senses get better. Uh -huh. So they feel like really religious people, they do certain energy work every day like they do all their prayers and all the things that they're told to do every day because they're paying pens for um for the releasing the the toxins that we're exposed to every day um so yeah it like in levain satanism satan just represents individuality being a person, like having your own version of reality. Yeah, so guys, you should definitely start growing your own food and don't think you need to do a whole garden with tons of fruit trees and um, very productive, like basketfuls of, I don't know, cucumbers or peas or peppers or whatever you grow, like. Definitely try to do that stuff. It's good to have, I guess, more of it. But, um, that you would give away some of it. But, uh, you could start with just, I you am know, like, I have an aloe vera plant and a dill plant. Like, the, the five, um, pillars of Ikigai are one, starting small, because obviously you can't. Like, people don't do things overnight, typically. It's an evolutionary thing. 
Some people can do it overnight, but most people know. Some people, most people just want to get their toes wet first, or just jump in. Um, so starting small, then, um, next one's releasing oneself, like meditation. Third one's harmony and sustainability. Fourth one is, let's see, harmony and sustainability. Finding joy in the little things. And fifth one's being in the here and now. I think those are all really good principles. Like that, those are Tai Chi principles. And I love that philosophy. It's so good. Oh yeah, and the magic is in your hands, guys. Like they use opposite sides of the brain. So that's why left hand people tend to be more creative or the reason that they're a minority is because like, if everyone was that creative, the society couldn't function. Uh, but use the left hand for all the things like, I think you should use your right and left the same amount. Like there's, in Hinduism, they believe the right hand should be used for everything like heating. And the left hand only for things like dirty things like cleaning yourself up after going to the bathroom. But I think that's a cult, I think. The left hand should be used just as much as the right so you can see reality because the dragon must use both wings to fly and um, uh, so I just have, just buy some small plants from the store, I mean local and like farm raised or like homemade so he's better. Um, Grow your own food, uh, this, this video is already too long, I don't want to confuse you guys too much, so, keep using the left hand, always write down your dreams in the morning, or even if you don't remember, write down, I didn't remember my dream last night, keep thinking about the differences between people and why they do that, and why, like, I noticed with my siblings, uh, when uh, we were each eating an apple, like, I ate almost all of it. Uh, some people, they always take out the skin. Some people, um, you should never get rid of the skin first. Always eat the skin. Um, what else? Like, my siblings, they don't eat as much. Like, when they get to the core, they're kind of... They could leave a bigger piece, so keep thinking about the differences between people and why you do what you do, and you're not really your body, be yourself from, like, from an outside perspective, like, third person, like, from a bird's eye view, uh, love you, bye.